Here's an activity where we're going to match up isometrics to orthographics. In the middle column of the worksheet that will be handed out to you, there's going to be an isometric drawing. In the right column, there's going to be an orthographic projection. You are to match these two drawing types to each other, and we're going to actually do some Autodesk Inventor applications to determine whether or not our work is correct. So what we have here is we have seven different choices of an isometric and we have to match those up with the orthographics in the right column. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create these as a 3D model in Autodesk Inventor and then I'm going to convert them to a presentation drawing to help me match them up on the worksheet. Let's get started. Okay, so here I have Autodesk Inventor open. I'm going to go to New. I'm going to go to Standard IPP. And I'm going to go to Create. <coughs> Excuse me. So, while that's opening, I'm going to go back to my document here. You'll have this on a paper copy, so that'll be easier to follow along. And I'm going to look at what's in the first column here, in the middle, middle column or in the first row, middle column, of our worksheet. I'm actually going to start with a right side view, since they are all of the same shape, and try and create this object. So I'll go back to Autodesk Inventor. I'm going to click on the pencil. I'm going to click on the front plane. And I'm going to sketch the profile. I'm not going to really worry about sizes right now. I'm just going to try and draw what I see. So like I said, this right side actually says the front there, so that won't be an issue. This right side is going to look like an L. The little house on the view cube. We'll go finish sketch. We'll go extrude. And one inch for what I have looks fine. We don't know if one inch will look right for you, but we want it to be proportional to what's on the document. So, in essence, you are pre-drawing these. Okay, let's go back to Inventor. Now look up here, we have a notch in the middle and a notch out of the corner. I'll show you how to make those. Let me finish my extrusion. Click on Top View here. I'm going to click on the pencil. I'm going to put my notch in this middle portion first. Let me grab that at an angle so you can see what's going on. Referring back to my document, it doesn't go all the way back. Back to Inventor. I'm going to use, <coughs> excuse me, a rectangle. Let me make that flat. And again, it's free drawing, so I'm just trying to make it look proportional to what was on the handout. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to go finish sketch. I'm going to go to extrude. And I want to take this piece out. Here in this middle blue plane here, it kind of looks like a printer icon. I'm going to switch that to cut. So then I don't have to worry about my extrusion value that actually cuts that out. So there's that piece cut out. Now I want to cut out this top corner here the same way it looks like on this worksheet. See how that top corner is cut out? So I'll go back to Inventor, click on the pencil, and click on the area where I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to use a rectangle again. And I'm going to guess what it looks like because we're just free drawing. Try and keep it proportional. Finish Sketch, Extrude, switch our extrusion to Cut, and we'll click on that. So here's our object. It should look like what we have in that middle column at the top of our worksheet. Now let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to go to the big eye. I'm going to go Save As. And for now, let's just call it part one. We might want to change this name later 
when we get when we're getting through more of our activity. So I'm going to save that as part one. I already have that file name, but I'm going to overwrite it. I got plenty of files. Now I'm going to do something new. I'm going to go new. I'm going to go to standard IDW. This creates a presentation drawing. This will help me select what my orthographic conversion is going to look like on the worksheet. So I'm going to go create. Give it a moment to load. You're going to see some new commands once this opens up. Uh-oh, it says not responding. There, I got my computer to be more agreeable with me. Uh, I don't have my browser bar open, so I'm going to go to View, User Interface, make sure I have browser turned on. I need that when I change my sheet size, but I want that so it's not covering my sheet either. I want to be able to see what I'm working on. So I drug that over to the right side. Where it says Sheet in my model browser, I'm going to right click on Sheet. I'm going to go Edit Sheet Size. And I'm going to change it from C to A. That's in case I want to print it out on 8.5 by 11 sheets. If I left it at C, it would be 11 by 17. And that wouldn't work out very well. I'm going to click OK. Uh, you'll notice here it has my username and today's date. Let me go back to my Place Views tab now. Over here, there's a button called Base that projects a base view. So I'm going to click on that. And it says my scale is 1 to 1. That looks like 1 to 1 is going to work. Notice my view that I'm hovering over there. If the view is too large, I'm going to have to change the scale to something different. Maybe I'd have to use 2 to 1, or I'd have to use 1 to 2. You might have to play around with that if you made your object huge. I'm going to bring this over here. I believe this is my right side view. So I'm going to keep this on the right. Here's my left view. Top view is going to go over here, and I do get a nice little isometric. So I click each of those views into place, I right click, and I create. So now, what I've done is I've drawn this as a 3D model here. It shows up as an isometric, but it converts it into an orthographic. Let's see what choice that would be on our handout. Pay attention to what these views look like and see where they match up on the handout. I'm going to pay close attention to this view right here. It shows a couple of special line styles that are dashed. Those are hidden lines. Go over my document. And it really looks like choice E. I got my two hidden lines there. I've got my notch cut out here. And we see it as a visible line up there on that view. Let's compare it. Now, one thing that is a little bit different is we have a different top view, but we do have our solid line across. So choice E would be correct, even though our front view is above our side view instead of our top view. And that's really based upon how we've, we've drawn it. There's ways to correct that, but for this activity, it's really not important at this point. We just want to do some matching exercises, and we want to use Autodesk Inventor help us solve those problems. So what you have to do in this activity is you have to make your 3D model, you have to convert it into a presentation drawing, and then you have to use the handout to figure out what matching exercise would be applicable. In this instance, selection E would go in blank one as it matches up to number one in the middle column. Seems like a lot of work, but I think you folks will have good luck with this. So, until next time, good luck.